uh, in the book of second chronicles 7 verse 14 i'm going to start from verse 11 and in my in my text it says this is the lord's response to solomon after solomon had built a temple for him the bible says when solomon had finished the house of the lord and the royal palace successfully carrying out all that was in his heart to do for the house of the lord and for his own palace the lord appeared to him at night and said to him i have heard your prayers and have chosen this place for myself we're going to be praying this morning we're going to be saying lord choose this choose this land as yourself i have a burden specifically for nations but somebody is going to catch a different burden this morning you're going to catch the burden for your family. You're going to catch the burden for your house. You're going to catch the burden for your marriage. Some of you are going to catch the burden for your workplace. Some of you are going to catch the burden for your community. He says, I have heard your prayers and I have chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. If I close the sky so that there is no rain, this is what the Lord begins to tell Solomon. He says, if you ever find that there is a time I close the sky so there is no rain, or if I command the locust to devour the land. Or if I send a plague among my people. He says, if my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. I will heal their land. It says, if my people who are called by my name, if you ever find that there are strange things that are happening in your land, when you, when you find that the skies are closed and there is no rain, and I'm going to put it to your, to, 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 to your submission this morning that even if I find that there is more rain than is needed, do you know that there are some countries which are in famine because there is no rain? And this, there are some countries which are in famine because there is more rain than what they anticipated. So now all of a sudden the crops are rotting in the rain. The crops are being flooded by the rain. He says, if I close the skies and there is no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, uh, one of the things, prayer governors, you must be able to do as a person of the spirit, you must be able to do as a person of prayer, you must be able to discern what's happening in the atmosphere of your land. And when I'm talking about land, I'm talking about your nation. I'm talking about your community. You must be able to sense when winds are shifting. I'm talking about the area of your workplace. I'm talking about the area of your marriage. I'm talking about the area of your family. You must be able to see when winds are changing and cry out to the Lord, Lord, heal my land. He says, if you're sensing that there are things that are happening that are abnormal, you're sen sensing that the, 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 the sky is closed and there is no rain. Why is, there, why is there no rain? Or there is more rain than is needed. Why is there, why is there so much rain? He says, or, or if I command the locusts to devour the land. He says, if you begin to see some pestilence healing your, uh, 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 hitting your land, there are some people right now who are who are working in companies where since the beginning of the year it's been hit by one misfortune after the other. There are some of you right now who are business owners who can say this year alone it's only the month of April but the amount of misfortune that we have gone through needs to heal our land. There are some of you right now who are coming from families where you're saying woman of God since 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 last year beginning of last year we have been going through tumultuous times it's one issue after the other we're going to be crying out lord heal our land this morning heal the land of my family he says if if you see plagues among your people if you begin to sense and see that there are things that are happening that are abnormal cry out humble yourselves pray and seek my face Turn from your wicked ways and cry out for your land. So this morning, we're going to be crying out for the land. Whatever land God places is a burden on, on, on your heart.